Jensen, sitting here in the dark, in a really busy paddock, on European time in Asia, do you ever get used to this? Uh, yeah, you do. Yeah, I think so. Um, I think the thing for us, you know, we stay on European time, um, which is pretty easy because obviously you don't get the jet lag when you fly. Um, but as you say, the most difficult bit is it's dark for most of the day, so, get, you know, your mind is trying to play tricks on you the whole time. But, uh, yeah, I've been here since Sunday and I've loved my time here. Apart from the darkness, how would you sum up the traits of this race? Because it's still a, a very different race circuit and, and not like any other that we go to. No, it is. It's, it's very different. You know, it's, it's bumpy, the curbs are big here, you've got to really throw the car over the curbs. It's very unforgiving, it's a street circuit. Even though it's hot and humid, it, there's no sun, so the circuit's quite cool. So it's difficult to get the tyres in the right working, working range, so that's something we're going to have to work on. Going into the race, though, how important is it to, to start at the front? Is overtaking possible around this circuit? Yeah, I mean, this year everyone's saying that people are winning from a long way back, but when you actually look at the statistics, that's not the case. I think there have been more wins from the front row this year than any other year in the last sort of decade, so, um, yeah, it's... Uh, Sorry, I didn't even realise you were in it either. Of yeah. <laughs> course not. Um, <laughs> So, uh, yeah, you know, I think it's, um, it's still important to be on the front row, uh, but you can overtake. Where are the overtaking points that, that when you speak to the team you, or when, you, when you're driving around behind someone, you think, this is where I can nail them? Uh, I think we call it turn five. Um, it's weird because there are always little kinks on circuits they n name or number, which is quite strange. But I think it's turn five onto the back straight where the DRS is. Um, that's the best place to overtake. But then you get weird manoeuvres like Mark did on Fernando last year into that really slow chicane. So people don't expect you to throw the car up the inside in some places, so they, they leave the door open. The darkness, the narrowness, the bumpiness, the curbs, is it difficult to judge your limits more so than other races? Yeah, it's, I'd say it's a little bit tricky, yes. Especially the most difficult part on the circuit, it's quite dark. You know, that, that piff, paff, piff, whatever you want to call it. I'm sure Damon Hill or someone like that calls it that. That's but, exactly uh, what David calls it in commentary. Yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah. Piff, paff, yeah. yeah. And then through the Mickey Mouse chicane, as I like to call it, <laughs> turn 10, bang, bang, bang. Good old DC. Um, so, um, yeah, that's, that's pretty tough because the curbs are so big and you really need to be able to see them, funnily enough. Um, so you need good light there and it's quite dark in the area, so that's, that's tricky. What does it take to win on this circuit? You've been on the podium here before, but yeah. what, what actually does it take to, to I get I don't know this yet. Right? I haven't won yet, but um, <laughs> every year I've raced here, it's, it's, you know, my result has got better. Last year was second and um, chasing down Fernando on the last like, 10, 15 hours. It was, I really enjoyed it last year. It was a good race. Just describe the sort of physical emotions that you go through. I mean, obviously you're training and triathloning and iron manning, and you know you're, you're not adverse to that. But is it, do you still feel it here more than other races? Yes, you know, because of because it's bumpy um, and there's no real rest around the lap. Even the straight's bumpy and it's a corner in it. And, and mentally, it's very draining. Two-hour race as well. It's the longest race on the calendar. Um, so yeah, it's, it's the toughest out there. But you know. We can't really complain, you know, we should do the training so that we don't suffer too much. And uh, training here has been great, it's been humid, it's been tough, it's hurt a lot, to be fair. Uh, and I think that puts me in good stead for the race.